just do a little bit of a hashtag and over here and it happens. Seems pretty plausible, but it's wrong. Here's why. The culture of LinkedIn is different than the culture of Twitter. The kind of links you can put in in Twitter are not active over in the same space over here on LinkedIn. So they look out of place, it's just not the right thing. And also the frequency of tweets might be a couple times a day, who knows how many. Uh, in the LinkedIn world, no more than one status update a day, maybe every couple days. So yeah, shot that one down. I upload my list of friends and customers to connect with me on LinkedIn. It's great. Ah, oh, keyword here is list. See, when you put a list up on LinkedIn, you have that very impersonal message that goes out to them. Invitation to join my network with a little name and a dash at the bottom. Can't change it. That's no way to treat your friends and customers. Not likely to get much business from it. Yeah, maybe they connect with you, but that might be all. I make sure right in my LinkedIn summary that readers of my profile know about my company, my products, and my services. You know, there, there's room for some of that up there, but where most people run into problems is they blah, blah, blah about the corporate website and data and all that in their summary. It's not about your company. It's about you. The company kind of comes second, actually. I'm ready for my LinkedIn picture. Oh, well, if my name is Chris or Pat, I got a real problem if it's not just me. It should be just me for most folks. You know, this kind of outfit, something that looks a little bit more professional in the LinkedIn space, probably a little bit better. Just you, and if you're a creative type, hey, you can go lots of places with that. I can't wait to show you all my business interests. Your business interests, that would be neat. Is that all there is to you? There's a great little space called interests down, a little ways down in your LinkedIn profile. Good spot to put in the kind of things you like to do. Uh, sailing or hiking or, uh, in my case, you know, rock concerts. People are looking for a cultural fit and they're not going to find it with a bunch of keywords. SEO people tell me to get on page one. I got to pack in those keywords. Better get pounding. Well, you do got to get the words in there. Absolutely you do. But packing them in through copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste is the way to maybe get people to come to your profile because they found you in searches, but they're going to come running for the hills as soon as they see what you're doing. You're cheating. Oh, LinkedIn answers. I'm going to ask a question too. Well, that would be great if that question hasn't already been asked and answered properly. Can't find what you're looking for? Ask the question. Otherwise, hey, take the answer there and go and run with it. I'm going to post this message to all my LinkedIn groups. It'll just take a couple clicks. It is. It's a powerful, powerful tool. Unfortunately, not all the groups really like to see the same kind of material. Posts over here in this group, not welcome over here. Can you recommend me? I could recommend you if we'd done business together. In fact, I would be happy to recommend you if we'd done business together. Otherwise, uh-uh. Hi, can I sell you my products? Oh, and can we connect on LinkedIn too? Well, what are we going to do? we got to connect. You're going to tell me about your product. Take your pick. One or the other. I suggest connect first, then, you know, follow up with a message maybe with some links in it. Tell me about your product later. Thanks, Mike. You're welcome.